Congratulations. You're being promoted to a big kid bow hold. Instead of holding your bow up at the stick, either like this if you play violin or viola, or like this if you play cello or bass, we're just going to slide that exact same position down towards the frog of your instrument. Here's what you need to know. Step one, your thumb does not go inside of the frog. It does not go under the frog. It does not go through the bow. Instead, it rests under the stick right above the frog. So some of you might have a big gap between the frog and your winding. Some of you might not, but either way, that thumb is always going to go right below the stick above the frog, okay? So from there, the rest of your hand should fall pretty well into the place. So your thumb is either like this if you play cello or bass, or it's a little bit more curved if you play violin or viola. For most musicians, you'll find that it's most comfortable to keep your middle two fingers right against the frog. I personally like to play about like this or this depending on my instrument. Some of you might want to be down just a little bit more so that you can really feel your fingers connecting there. But everything's exactly the same. So if you play cello or bass, your fingers are all nice and floppy. This is resting into the stick and you're just like jelly. You should be able to hold on to your bow and move it around like this. If you play violin or viola, pinkies go right on top. Just about everything stays the same. See how you can see my thumbnail right under the stick? It doesn't poke through like that because the top of my thumb is still connected to that location of the bow. Okay, it takes some time to get used to, but I think you'll all agree that this is much more comfortable than having to do everything on your own up here. There you go.